You want to talk about this um, uh, situation in My Dorset, oil leak, which farm it came from, when, which farm is one of the largest onshore fields in Europe. Yes, and the Health Security Agency has warned the public not to swim in Pool Harbour or the surrounding areas. And the local council says oil has escaped into the area's water. Uh, let's uh, cross now to the chief executive of Pool Harbour Commissioners. Uh, we say good morning to Jim Stewart. Jim, how bad is the situation? How worried are you about it? OK, well, it, it is a serious um, event that took place yesterday. Uh, I mean, there are three levels of seriousness in terms of oil spills. Uh, the first level is, is, is small, which is small operational spill. The second one is a medium spill, which requires a regional response. And the third one is a major or a large spill. This particular spill comes into the second category. So it's not a, a large spill that requires a national or international response. But Pool Harbour Commissioners are taking it very seriously and we are allocating resources to deal with it at the moment. The biggest hazard is the concern for you know, humans coming into contact with polluted water or is it the environmental hazards uh, of this leak? Uh, both, really. Um, we are unaware of any um, human casualties. Uh, we had people out yesterday, the Pool Harbour Commissioners activated its oil, its, um, pool spill response yesterday afternoon. Um, and we've currently got um, teams going around the harbour looking to see if any oil has come ashore. Um, and then we will decide later on this morning how we're going to deal with that and, and what we're going to prioritise. Mm. How far away, Jim, is which farm from the harbour? Uh, which farm is actually within the harbour. Um, Pool Harbour is one of the largest natural harbours in the world, 10,000 acres. Uh, so it's a huge harbour. Um, which farm is on the southern, southern shores of Pool Harbour? Um, and that's where the incident took place yesterday morning. Looking at the Isle of Purbeck and Enid Blyton and, you know, all those beautiful sort of protected areas and the lovely beaches and not that far, really, down the way from Camber Sands and all of that. So lots of people will be familiar with that corner of the world, won't they? Indeed, well, quite a distance from Camber Sands. But, oh, right. um, <laughs> yes, there are some beautiful, beautiful beaches around here and, and obviously the environment is something that we're very concerned about, which is why we have um, activated um, our oil spill response plan. Um, and through the civil uh, contingency unit, um, we've designated it a major incident. Trying to just visualise what it is we're talking about. Um, which farm? Is it a reservoir for oil? Um, is this a, an oil pipe leak? Can you be more specific about what you think has actually happened? Indeed, but I can't talk on behalf of Perenko, who operate which farm, but the, um, the installation has been in operation since 1979, so it's been there for a long time. And this is the first incident of this nature um, that we've seen during that time. Um, effectively, that a pipe leading from the, um, the witch farm uh, installation on land into the water, they've had a leak from that. Uh, Perenko immediately boomed off that leak. Um, they shut off the pipe in order to minimise any damage. Uh, we were initially advised that maybe some 200 barrels of liquid went into the harbour of a Approximately 20% of that would be crude, 80% would be saline solution. Um, so we have presently got teams and we're, we're getting reports from all around the harbour to try and understand um, the scale of this particular event. And, and just finally, uh, and briefly, if you will, how do you clean up something like this? Is it just left for, for nature, really, to, to move it on, to, to, to dissolve it or whatever? Or is there anything you can do? It's a very good question, Isabel. I mean, it depends where the spill comes ashore. Um, there's certain areas where you're actually going to cause more damage to the environment by trying to clean up from certain areas. If it comes onto beaches, um, then it's possible to um, launch a, a cleanup operation. And that's what we're in the process of uh, understanding at the moment. We've got a meeting taking place right now, actually. Um, so we should have further news later on this morning.